neural networks and GPTs are kind of number of words. They do not like to work with raw text. To make a word meaningful to an LP model, we follow this process. First of all, we tokenize the text. By tokenization, we break this text into smaller units, which may or may not be meaningful to a human reviewer. After this, we assign a unique ID to each of the tokens to represent as a number. Next is the process of vectorization in which we assign randomly initialized and dimensional vectors to the numbers. Finally comes the process of embedding. In this process, we take a neural network which already has some idea and understanding of what are the similar words. The neural network takes the word vectors and embed them into an embedding space in such a way that similar words have similar kinds of vectors. This is the main crux that I, that I need you to remember that similar words have similar vectors. Now let us see word vectors in action. Let us take an example where we have three words, a dog, wolf, and fish. The word vector for dog, wolf, and fish looks like this. To compare these word vectors, we will use a metric known as cosine similarity. If you remember that in the high school days, we understood this concept that if two vectors are in the same direction, they will have a cosine of one. And if they are in the opposite direction, they will have the cosine of minus one. We will use this concept to our advantage. Let us plot the vectors of dog, wolf and fish. It should look something like this. Now let's calculate the cosine vector similarity for dog, wolf and dog and fish. For dog and wolf, it comes out to be very close because they are in the similar direction. It's 0 0.98. But for dog and fish, it's a bit lower. Let me take you to projector.tensorflow.org where you can play around and visualize it. This is projector.tensorflow.org. Now, we are using a pre-trained model WordVec 10K. Let us search for the word dog. In this n-dimensional vector space, let us find out the five nearest neighbor of the word vector dog. These are the five nearest neighbor based on cosine similarity. If we change the similarity score, at least for dog, it doesn't change. You can play around this tool and try to visualize things in action. In the next tutorial, we are going to jump in into the practical implementation aspect of embeddings. So stay tuned. Bye.